Virgo, welcome. It's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV, and that means it's time for your weekly tarot reading. This tarot reading is going to be for August 19th all the way to August 25th, so welcome, Virgo. Hope all is well. It's going to be your season coming up this week. Yeah, so August 22nd, the sun is moving into your sign, Virgo, so happy birthday for those cuspy birthdays. Happy, happy birthday to all Virgos out there. It's your season, so you got to use it right. So what's going to happen before the sun moves into your sign and gives you this beautiful energy to blossom in, you are going to have a full moon in Aquarius on the 19th, and that's going to be happening in your eighth house of healing. Now, the eighth house is pretty broad, okay? it's I find it spiritually, it's about healing. Um, but the old traditional meanings are other people's money, uh, death and sex. So it's, you know, it, it could be all of those things. You know what I mean? It's, uh, also being interested in astrology and, and, and tarot and all of that spiritual stuff. You know what I mean? But the way I look at it is that it's an excellent time for some healing. Okay. Now the full moon brings things to light and it's also a great time to release anything that no longer serves us. And we have all these aspects going on, Jupiter square Saturn. So there's a frustration there with some opportunities, some expansion. We're trying to expand and we can't. Um, the sun square Uranus, that's usually triggers world events. So there's something going on around this time. Venus is going to be opposite Saturn and it's back in Leo. It's retrograde. So again, we're getting, we're, we're finding a frustration about a relationship we're revisiting Venus is also going to be square Jupiter. So there's, you know, the opportunity is challenging. You know, there's the opportunity there, but there's a frustration. There's a challenge. But all of this is for to promote growth. So look at it that way. Instead of being overwhelmed by all this energy, allow it to kind of just run through you. Let it take away what no longer serves you. You know, with the eighth house, this could be you thinking, you know what, I, I need some... I need some healing. You know, I, I allow healing to come into my life. I'm not going to be frustrated by all the burdens of everything else. You know what I mean? Or the full moon happening in your eighth house could be, you know, could be getting lucky. You know, this lightning strikes once. Mm. <laughs> you never know, Virgo. It's all an interpretation and what you're open to. So let's get the vibe for the week. We went over... In the freaking weekend, that full moon more extensively. So you'll want to watch last week's full length reading that I posted on Sunday and also the freaking weekend and then watch this one. And Okay. All right. Mm. Hmm. Okay, Virgo, nice, short, and sweet to start off Virgo season. We got some things to release before we head into that, okay? Two of Swords and the Five of Swords. Again, full moon in air sign, Aquarius, it's mental. So these swords represent our, our thoughts and our feelings, mainly our thoughts. And we feel like we're stuck, we're indecisive here, we don't know what to choose, we're worried <clears throat> all the wrong things in order to get what we need. So the full moon is causing you to release this. All right. With the judgment card, it is time to release that. Release all judgments of yourself. You're, you're not getting the perspective you need, but this is just set yourself free from it. Why worry? Worry is a wasted emotion. Worry is a wasted energy form. Release it. Release yourself from that. You're strong enough to do this. And the eight card signifying the eighth month, the sun's moving into your sign on the 22nd. This is indicative to what's going on here. It's about letting this strengthen you instead of weaken you. How? Trust your intuition. Get in touch with your emotions. Don't let them rule you. Regulate them. And the king of wands is making that change. All right, let's get some oracles. Pretty telling. It's getting out of a stuck mental state and setting ourselves free into a more empowered, uh, in 
intuitive excitability about changing instead of being stuck. All right, and it's a time to release that now. So very powerful. All right, let's see what the Oracle's got to say. There's those two right there. Thank you. First one they want to show you is patience. Be patient. Don't be tempted to get impatient. In fact, it's time to rest and rejuvenate. Again, healing. Don't be tempted to not give yourself that. Be patient with your process because you are moving on, Virgo. It is time. Moving into the light, right into your season. Good for you. Yeah, an end to indecision. And maybe some peace of mind. You know, that eight with that strength also signifies that full moon happening in your eighth house. So, pay attention to the symbols and signs that you are given, Virgo. Release all this for your before your birthday season. You know, you can do that. It's not a difficult process. Take the lead this month, this week. Take the lead. And you shall flourish and trust where you're going. Absolutely. That's a reset right there. Good for you. One fuck of a way to kick off your birthday season, I'll tell you that. No. Let's look at, ooh, this card was on the top. Take the lead. <laughs> there it is. Reach for that light. It's your season. Good. I like that. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's get some love. See what we got for you, Virgo. What do we got for love for Virgo? Yeah, this is definitely a time to go within. It's all right. You know, instead of being out in all the volatile energy, release yourself of it. Take the lead. Lead, lead, take the lead. Release this anxiety. You need some sleep too. Again, rest and rejuvenate. Huge way. That's probably how you could set yourself free. You are manifesting a reciprocating energy. Your things are balancing out and you're manifesting a new relationship here. So you're getting yourself in line to open up to this change and trusting where you're going. Trusting with the uh, full card, intuition, highly trusting your intuition. This is incredible. Let's get some messages of love. So you're healing a part of yourself that's going to open yourself up to love. So that's excellent, Virgo. Okay, release. Radical acceptance and surrender will help you let go. Boom. Passion. Try something you've never done before. That's that right there. Strictly sex sexual. This connection is passionate but not enduring. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's just, you know, a hookup or something like that. It's low vibe. It doesn't satisfy you anymore. Go for something that reciprocates create that relationship that isn't just sexual but emotional you know and marriage this relationship is moving toward a sacred union moving on towards a sacred union creating that some of you could be proposing or getting proposed to this week or this month setting it up for your birthday season who knows who knows just be patient with your process all right let's get a closing message We got three of them. Damn. Virgo, you're being asked to connect with your creative side in whatever way feels best. This part of you needs extra attention right now. It needs to be expressed in a bigger way. Take the lead. Create. Create the life you want. The magician here. Detach. You're being asked to detach from something you've been holding on to. Uh-huh. When we hold on too tightly to the desired outcome, it restricts the flow. Trust. The outcome will work out and let go of your attachment to it. Release, detach, rest and rejuvenate. You see where we're going here. And last but not least is comfort. How can we bring more comfort into your life, Virgo? You can increase comfort through tangible things such as clothes and food and intangible things such as thinking loving thoughts about yourself and inviting peace into your heart. Take the lead. It's your season. Start it off with a motherfucking bang, Virgo, and you will not be sorry. 
release, detach, move on. All right, that's going to do it for this week. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, personal readings available in the description. Lots of options for you to choose from. Watch your full tarot reading on Sundays and your freaking weekend on Wednesdays. Love you all, Virgo. Happy birthday, and I'll see you next week.